I'm going to keep it short because I can't talk very well. Um, I'm proud of the team for getting a win. Um, give a lot of credit to Corbin for coming in and taking it at us, being the aggressor, which shows up in the free throw attempts. Um, we can't let that happen. Um, we won it. We challenged our guys after the win against Rice. We'll see how we handle success. And they hadn't had success for a while. And these guys would probably tell you we didn't pass that test. Practice the last couple of days, focus today at shoot around, wasn't good, carried over to the game. So great lesson. It's really good to learn lessons when you win. So this was a good lesson for us. And we'll get better from it. Um, and I don't want to take the light away by saying that from a couple of good performances. Gary was all over the floor. Langston, I thought, had a really good floor game. Some other guys gave us some boost. Zena Sanders' kid out there hit a couple threes and playing hard and competing. There were some good good things in bright spots. I don't, I don't want to take shine away from that. But overall, the last couple of days that led to this game wasn't acceptable. But proud of the guys that stepped up and did some good things. Yeah, he just he challenged us in the locker room at halftime. You know, he kept telling us that the fouls were nine to two. He was taking me a uh, shot, so we just put our head down and attacked him. Too many jumpers. Yeah. Coach, talk about the high bench output. Say that again. Talk about the high bench output today. We went into the game hoping to play everybody, not because of who our opponent was but because everybody had earned it. Like, there was even guys that didn't play much. I wish I could have played more because their focus and their effort's been really good. So we wanted to reward that tonight. And, and you know, you see some of our guys that play a lot, their minutes really went down. And so yeah, it was partly to reward some guys that had been on page, you know, and, and really to keep guys focused, but also to keep guys fresh moving forward because we've got three games coming up in the next – However many days that is. Why the first voice? Did you just feel like you need to get on your guys a little bit more tonight? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I always, beginning the season, I always kind of the first couple of games, it started on Friday, carried over. And, um, you know, I'll get it back. I'll get it back. But sometimes when I kind of try to make my point and forget to breathe, that's when I put stress on these things and lose it. Coaching guys, I've heard a lot of. Not, not good enough. We, we, we'd really done a nice job the first two games holding teams under 30%, you know, and, and we let them come in and shoot 40. They got to the rim. Our hands were down. They're just we, – we were supposed to play defense, whether the guy's dribbling or not, with a hand up. So then when they rise up to shoot it, we're already there. And We just had some lazy habits tonight that we'll have a good video session and correct as we uh, prepare for Thursday's opponent or Friday's. Some more of the trouble in one-on-one matchups. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're getting beat off the dribble, so then we're late to close, or we're just close out on the guy with hands down, and, you know, they tee it up. And these guys are, we, we told them, they're, they're college players, you know. And so it's just something we got to learn from. You know, I don't think our guys had the same snap, same urgency that we had going into the opener against Rice. And I give them credit for Corbin for, for attacking and taking advantage of that. moving ball. It's hard for a team to take away one player when you got five people in double figures. So a lot of people can score and you know, just swing the ball and take open good shots. Yeah, and just having uh, extra extra passes and I feel like guys are really, you know, just taking them. Yeah, so everybody had about, and a lot of people had uh, double digits. So I just feel like, you know, guys are passing the ball and yeah. 20 assists is pretty good. We had 20 assists. Um, could have had a few more, but that's that's not bad. 20 assists, nine turnovers. Starting to bring the turnovers down a little bit. That's key. Yeah. Langston, can you just talk about Gary and the way he seems to fill up the stat sheet with everything he does? Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm not surprised at all. I've been 
playing with uh, Gary, you know, all summer and stuff like that, and I, and I know just from his his defense and uh, you know, and he, I mean, he's an outstanding rebounder. I haven't seen somebody at his size you know rebound at that at that. I mean, he has a, he has a great knack for the ball, and I, I'm not surprised at all. Coach, Coach, what do you, you kind of encourage or pleasantly surprise with Jamal Williams? What did you do the past couple of games? What's been your time? Yeah, he's given us a really nice punch, and what we got to do is challenge him to bring it every day. He's just so even keeled. You never know if he's mad at the world or happy as a clam because he just – and sometimes we can misread that to our fault and think that he's not into it. And so somewhere we got to figure something out to where he's showing us a little more emotion, you know, and we, and we trust that he's into it and ready to go. But he's been really solid. He's a team guy, really a team guy, very unselfish. Um, and we're going to need him to stay on page with us. As, as we move forward, because he's, you know, he can play inside and out. He's another good handler out there, strong, can rebound, can attack the basket. So um, we're going to need him to continue to progress as we played, continue to move forward. You play Tanner a lot tonight. Why? Because why he plays the right way. That's what we're, we want a team full of guys that play hard every day, focused, unselfish, you know, and we got, we've got a lot. we got to get more. And um, he's one guy that we knew when he turned out, tried out for the team, once he got an understanding of the way we run things, that he was going to be in our top nine rotation. And so it was nice. He's a little more comfortable now and threw him out there. And, you know, he, he's going to compete, boy. And he's going to try to do it the right way. And so that's, that's good for everybody to see. What do you think of Gomez in his first action? Oh, love seeing him out there. He's so athletic and so energetic. These guys all look up to him because he stands for the right things. So it was good to just throw him out there uh, tonight and get him, um, get him some playing time, and then hopefully we'll be able to go a little more on Friday, and then slowly build his playing time as we get closer to league. Coach, talk about um, how exactly it's important to have a guy like Gomez who has been here for a few years and has the experience to really come back. It's enormous. It's enormous to have a guy like that that's been through it all. Uh, he's the most experienced guy, and he can also help us with these guys in the locker room or in the hotels when we're not around about, guys, this is what it takes to get these guys know what it takes to get done. Let's stay together. Let's build this thing. So he's that experienced leader, the veteran guy. I think they, I mean, I call him Pops. You know, for me to go call a guy Pops, that must mean he's old, right? So it's great to have that kind of, um, you know, experience and that sort of thing from a guy like that. Any reason why maybe Shay didn't play a little bit more? You know, just size, you know, have, where we've been in the past, you feel sorry for your five man when you play a team with it's a little more undersized, you know. And he understood. Um, you know, we play against more traditional with bigger guys. He's going to be in there. So, Gary, were you looking to put your stamp on the game right from the onset, or was the ball just kind of bouncing your way? No, it was really just bouncing my way. You know, I try to just get my other teammates going, and later on in the game, it just left lanes open for me, and that's when I can just come in and put the stamp on it. I know you don't consider yourself really a scorer, but is, is this kind of what you're looking for from yourself offensively, just kind of buckets and transition and moving shots? Yeah, uh, I mean, I, like I said, I don't really consider myself as a scorer like that, but uh, you know, I probably took a couple more shots than what I normally have. And, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, if the game comes to me and uh, guys on, on my team want me to score and my coaches give me confidence to score, then I will. And, uh, you know, I think I just – I think I missed – couple shots that, uh, you know, they weren't very good shots, and the ones that were good shots, but they weren't in. So I just feel like, you know, I just got go to go to the tape and, you know, try to decipher which one's a good shot. You know, that's the thing when I'm struggling on right now, just trying to figure out what's my sh- uh, like what's a good shot and what's not. But, yeah. He's, he's passed up good shots, being unselfish, and trying to attack because we talked about we're taking too many jumpers. But guys would penetrate and kick to him, standing there wide open. We want to take those are good shots with good – Rebounding, so he's trying to figure out. Yeah. Okay, the big gray-haired idiot that's yelling at me to not shoot jumpers on one end, and now he's telling me I'm passing up a good jumper. So that's something as we move forward, we gotta get comfortable. He's a guy we want to let it fly when he's towed to the line, penetrate and kick or inside out all day long. Because sometimes he penetrated and took a tougher shot than what he had originally, and that's all part of the process moving forward. But it says a lot about his character, trying to do what we're asking. And so um, it's good to, good to see. Gary, talk about the high number of steals that you guys were able to have tonight. Totally 
I, I want to say those came in the second half. After Coach got in us at halftime, <laughs> told us to put our hands up. And, you know, we was just getting a lot of deflections and just really putting it on the line. Everybody got a steal, and, and that's where easy buckets come and where confidence comes from, and then we can just jump on them and close the game out. Gary, Langston, you guys obviously worked with a lot of new lineups tonight. How, how is the continued integration of the newer guys on the team with the returners? Oh, it, it's, it's going to be good because we know they're going to be in a rotation with us, so it's good to build chemistry now and uh, have that there for when conference comes. And yeah. like Coach said, everybody, all the guys have been busting their, busting their tail in uh, practice, and, you know, they, they really push us to go harder, so we're going to need them. It's fun. I mean, I feel like it's fun because, you know, in the previous years, I was just used to playing with the same guys in the school, you know. All of a sudden, I have to play with this guy, you know. So, I mean, I like, uh, you know, we have a lot of people that played and uh, a lot of people that played uh, double-digit minutes, too. So, that's always fun. And, uh, you know, we got to see people at different positions a little bit. And Vic was running the point guard at one point. but uh, <laughs> On his own? <laughs> yeah. You know? So, I feel like, but it was good for the most part. Any guys, any you guys can point to any of the new guys that you know made a play that impressed you or did something that made you think, all right, we're doing this the right way? Oh, yeah, uh, Tanner. probably. Tanner, yeah, Tanner. Tanner, Tanner did his thing, but I, what I really thought was good was Matt. He contested uh, an athletic player was trying to dunk on him, and Matt, you know, came up. He got the foul, and I just feel like you know that's that's what we got Matt in there for, and that really stuck out for me. That was nice. The big thing with us is this group's got to learn that the little details are going to add up to big things, snapping passes, meeting passes. Our guys roll their eyes sometimes when it seems like the most trivial thing we're trying to get them to do. And it's just part of the habits that we've got to develop. And if, if we said in the locker room, if everybody can stay humble, swallow the ego, continue to learn and grow, then we've got a chance to, to, to you know, keep making steps forward. And we've got a great group of guys, so we're pretty confident that's not going to be an issue. And... The one neat thing is we've always said depth is the great creator of discipline. And we've got to develop our depth as we move forward so that we can keep that discipline. Oral Roberts is pretty good program. What's kind of going to be the key going forward the next couple of days for you to get ready for them? Uh, we just, we've got to have more focus and more sense of urgency. I haven't looked at a thing on Oral Roberts, to be quite honest. We've looked at Corbin and that's it. So we'll dive into that tonight and tomorrow. But really it's focus. It's it's intensity, urgency, those things that we should never, ever